Jo, damit hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Call of Cthulhu. Ja, wir haben jetzt die Walzen gefunden und würde ich mal sagen, hören wir uns die mal an, ne? And these red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. Rote Tropfen in Gold. <coughs> in Gral. Okay. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Ähm, Schachbrett ist hinter uns. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and other horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. The Queen has little protection. <coughs> Queen has little protection. Um, also es ist noch das mit dem Schachbrett war das äh, zweite. Das heißt auf gut Deutsch <coughs> es sind noch drei zur Verteidigung da. Deswegen nehme ich mal an, dass es äh, die zweite Zahl für den Tresor die drei ist. The Chalice of Knowledge. Ja, rote Tropfen. So, hier ist so ein Riss drin, ne? Dann nehmen wir das als Startpunkt. Und dann nehmen wir es 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wir haben 5 von diesen roten Tropfen auf diesem Kelch. Das ist Kelch. Gold und es sieht aus wie rote Tropfen. Also haben wir 5, 3. What did Drake say about this collection? Eins, drei, also eins, zwei, drei. Drake talked about a particular volume. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking about in his message. What did Drake say about this collection? Drake talked about a particular volume. Sieben. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking about in his message. Warte, 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 warte. Da fehlt eins. Da fehlt eins. Die fünf fehlt. Also haben wir, ähm... Wie viele waren das nochmal? Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf. Also haben wir... Die fünf fehlt. Also wir haben das 535 oder was? What did Drake say about this collection? Fünf drei fünf oder fünf drei neun eins von beiden. Fünf, drei, neun, Alter.
Sauron. What the fuck? Okay. <lacht> Warte, Riverside Institute? Ja, bin ich eben noch da ausgebrochen. sicher, dass wir eben noch da ein bisschen da eben ausgebrochen. Wieso sollten wir jetzt wieder da hingehen? In den namenlosen Buchern verfolgte Pierce die Spur eines versuchten Einbruchs. Er entdeckte, dass Charles Hawkins hinter dem Einbruch steckte. Pierce öffnete den Tresor des Buchhändlers, fand, was dieser und Sarah Hawkins darin aufbewahrt hatten. Ein in Menschenhaut gebundenes Buch lag im Tresor zog den Detektiv unwiderstehlich an. Als er es öffnete, wurde sein Geist in einen anderen Körper projiziert. What the fuck? Also, wir, wir, wir sind jetzt nicht dieser Piers, wir, wir spielen jetzt so gesehen <lacht> da jemand anders jetzt? Aber in einem anderen Körper. Excuse moi. Ich nichts kapieren. Dr. Colden, this man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. He... he's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. Did you inject him with a tranquilizer? No, Doctor. Not me, not anyone. Our stock is empty yet again. Again? Uh -huh. But there was enough for the whole island. More and more people are suffering from insomnia. We can't refuse to help. Of course. Any idea what this man might be undergoing? What can you tell me about him? He was highly agitated an hour ago. We were about to tie him down when he fell asleep. Ten minutes ago, he curled up into a fetal position. I thought he was waking up, but no. What are his symptoms? His temperature has been going down. His skin losing its color. His body rigid. I closed his eyes myself. They were glassing over. I didn't want them to dry out, and I couldn't bear to look at the expression on his face. You did well. Don't worry. Let's stay professional, if you will. Okay. I don't recognize him. Did he just arrive on the island? He said he worked on the docks, but not with Captain Fitzroy. I think he works for Ms. Baker. Who? You know. The woman at the head of their gang. They call her Cat. Oh, I see. Do you have other questions? Show me his file. That... That's not possible. Don't tell me Dr. Fuller has taken this file as well. We need it. That's why I called you. This man's ailment has been hidden from us. Come on now. What was he treated for? An intoxication, I was told. After inhaling chemicals. That'll do for the time being. Any idea what this man might be <coughs> undergoing? Very well. I'll examine him. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. 
He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. Tender at the touch. Slightly sticky. Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. <sighs> Doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. 30-year-old subject. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palubral tissue. Lord, this smell. So, doctor, an opinion? <coughs> I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor, after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry, that the edema would go away by itself. You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified, not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. <coughs> Warte mal. In der Cthulhu ist er auch so eine Art Oktopus. Der hat zwar auch so eine Art, wie soll man sagen, Knochen in sich drin. Aber habt ihr schon mal Tintenfisch gegessen? Das, was da drin ist, das ist ja auch so eine Art, äh, wie soll man sagen. Es ist schon feste, aber es ist trotzdem durchbeißbar, beweglich. Wie halt bei einem Tintenfisch. Und so ist es kommt mir zumindest so rüber. Und sie hat ja auch gesagt, dass er so die Finger und so und dass das so Art schleimig ist oder also nehme ich mal an, dass es was mit diesem Oktopus-Monster zu tun hat und dass er sich irgendwie weil wenn man bei einem Oktopus habt ihr habt ihr so einen schon mal angefasst wenn ihr, den, wenn ihr den anpackt, das ist alles total ganz weich und dann ja wie die schon gesagt haben wie Knochen bei einem neugeborenen Baby nur dass ein Oktopus, je nachdem wie stark er ist, euch wahrscheinlich, wenn er ihm die Hand reicht, die Hand plus den Arm brechen kann. Was ein Baby sehr wahrscheinlich nicht kann. Naja, kommt drauf an, wo ihr wohnt. Ne? I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And you won't believe me, but when we bathed him earlier, he seemed to feel better? Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. Yeah. But that doesn't explain yeah. his condition. Er braucht eine Art Aquarium und am. Yep. Yep. Genau das, was ich dachte. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. And this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not here. Dr. Cowardman, may I know what you're doing to my patient? 
what I'm doing? How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I've done to him what I do to all my patients. Provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? <coughs> These are alarming symptoms. If we don't act, he'll die. Do you believe that? I'm not as convinced, you see. I even think this man has a strong chance of completely healing from his ailments. No, yeah, doctor. Nah. This patient isn't himself anymore. He's dying. Really? What do you mean by isn't himself? He's changing. His physical characteristics, they are more animal than human now. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps. This amuses you. Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. For this man and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be, in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. You clean up, Pisa. What did he mean? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his <coughs> crimes? Oh, that evidence exists. I'm sure of it. I need to find the missing medical files. And where would you find those? In his office? What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep Mum. What the fuck? Hier bin ich doch in dieser Albtraum-Sequenz durchgelaufen, oder? This place draws you in and never lets you go. Na super. Riesig. Doctor, please. Uh, my chest. Oh. His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. Nurse? Deborah, come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. Hay fever? What's he doing here? Hay fever? What the fuck is hay fever? Sorry, I've been like He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. Ah, the whaling station. What's wrong with me? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, doctor, is that you? Yes, it's Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. It's the old whaling station. See? What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. And that's how you <coughs> broke your back? Perhaps. No idea. 
passed out. I'll just sleep a bit. Mrs. Sanders? Why did nobody tell me about her admission? In Akte wird der Zustand beschrieben, dem Irene Sanders in das Riverside Institut eingeliefert wurde, sowie die verabreichten Warnungen vor der Füg handschriftlich an Notizen zu empfiehlt. Er empfiehlt sie in den psychiatrischen Flügel zu verlegen, um ihr die Ruhe und Erholung zu geben, die sie benötigt. Ich wusste doch, dass das ein kleiner Bastard ist. She recently came back from the surgical block. She's stable. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. Ich liebe ja so Spiele, ne? What is the boiler room key doing here? The key to the boiler room. Not where I expected to find it. Ja, willst du den nicht mitnehmen? Ich meine ja nur. Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. Another insomniac. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. aus wie die anderen zwei. Seid ihr Brüder? Alter, wie verfickt doch mal soll ich denn hier alles finden? It's a quiet little town. Days go by, steady as ever. I wanted more for myself, but... There's no way I'm leaving until I find what Fuller is hiding. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no patience here. Ethan. Marie, I... What are you doing here? I'm... waiting for my medication, of course. Why? Tell me your symptoms. I have headaches. And I can't sleep. Do you suffer from insomnia? No. Look, I don't want you to laugh at me. Ethan, if you don't trust me, then who? I have nightmares. They keep me awake every night. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, <coughs> you're not the only one. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. Do you think it might be related to Fuller's work? I don't know yet, but I will figure all this out. Everyone in Darkwater is suffering from nightmares. Really? We don't have any medication left. Oh. There's no excuse then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. You too, Marie. Where did my fiance go? I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. Dr. Colden. Do you want something? Du hast einfach mal gar keine Augen. Hm. In theory, this is where we hang the key to the boiler room.
sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. I don't have any business in the boiler room. No, you're pulling my leg. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. And she still says nothing to that old witch, Donna. Oh, listen to the way you talk. The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. <laughs> and the answer is no. You can imagine that she doesn't dare say a thing. That silly goose lets herself be trodden. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. It's so unfair. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. Ja, in solchen Teilen wurden die Leute damals festgemacht, wenn die sich die ganze Zeit gewehrt haben. Und dann haben die hier dieses Teil rumgekriegt. Ja, ihr seht hier diesen kleinen Halbkreis. Der war so ein bisschen um den Hals drum, damit man die in Ruhe waschen konnte. Wie viel Scheiß gibt es denn hier noch? Ich doch komplett natzen. Ich habe noch nicht mal voll das Büro gefunden. Das ist ja sein Büro. Wo der dürfte ein Einzelbüro haben, oder? Es ist denn die Tür hier zu? Überall da, wo ich schon war, das wird offen gelassen. Ich finde hier einfach mal... Ah! Ne? Zynisches Wissen, alles klar. I have little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. Wait a minute, where do you think you're going? Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. Das da <coughs> ist also sein Büro. The door to the boiler room is locked. Yeah, I have to even from the Zach Mädel. Nimm den fucking Schlüssel mit. Oh, was macht der Schlüssel hier? Oh, was macht der Schlüssel hier? Oh, was macht der Schlüssel hier? Anstatt dreimal irgendeine Scheiße zu labern, einfach den Kack einfach mitnehmen, schreis Fresse halten und das tun, was ich sage. The key to the boiler room. Not where I expected to find it. <sighs> Okay, bevor ich wieder hier stundenlang durch die Gegend latsche, würde ich sagen, machen wir hier mal Schluss. Ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen. Wenn ja, würde ich mich über einen Daumen nach oben freuen. Wenn ihr noch nicht abonniert habt, dann tut das. Und wenn ihr Bock drauf habt, ja, dann sehen wir uns beim nächsten Mal wieder. Ne? Haut da rein. <lacht>